What's up you guys? It's Sarah Styles, and in today's video, no, I'm not doing a makeup video, and as you could probably tell, I'm not wearing any makeup, haven't done my hair, and I'm just in my comfy clothes because I'm doing a different kind of video today. So recently you might have seen a video of James Charles that he put on his channel where he did makeup artist tries drawing, and he drew a really cool picture of Demi Lovato. Like he said, I really got started with hair and makeup by doing art. I have always loved art. I've done art my entire life. Art camps and classes since I was like so young. Throughout school, I liked my other classes, but I loved art class and I took as many as I could. And in high school, I was in advanced placement art and art has just always been a really big part of my life and where I found my talent. Considered going to art school, I actually, when I was in college for the short time that I was, I was an art major and took college art classes. Um, and yeah, I used to do art a lot and so I really liked his idea. I like that he pointed out that there are a lot of correlations in art as there are in makeup, colors and shading and shape. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing today is I am gonna be doing a charcoal reduction. So for those of you that don't know what that is, it's kind of, I like to say that it's like a reverse sketch. So you start with a black piece of paper and instead of adding in dark, you erase to add in the light colors. There's an artist that I have loved for a really long time. I love his music. I have a slight, not obsession. Okay, I don't really fangirl over that many people, but I fangirl over him. So this is the picture that I'm gonna be doing a charcoal reduction of today. This is William Singe. Uh, for those of you that don't know him, he is an Australian musician. He has some really great covers on YouTube. He's been on tour. He's a big deal. He was on the X Factor. I decided to do it of William Singe because first of all, I'm a huge fan. And second of all, his birthday is like today. And not that I know that, like, I, you know, like I didn't like know when his birthday was. Since it is his birthday and since I wanted to do this video, I thought I'd do a charcoal reduction for him. William, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, you'll probably never see this. And if you don't, it'll be kind of sad, but it's fine. But if you ever see this, happy birthday. And I'm Sarah, you should hit me up. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna be showing you guys the process of how I'm gonna be doing the charcoal reduction. Kind of showing you a little time lapse of me doing the whole thing. It used to take me like, multiple weeks to do a charcoal when I've done them in the past. So I'm trying to get this done in like a few hours. So I'm hoping that this works out. Yeah, so let's get into it. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and did the charcoal on the blank paper before the video, just because it kind of takes a long time and it was not important to share. But basically what I'm doing is flipping over the printed image and then taking this uh, graphite little pencil stub thing and I'm going over the entire back part of the photo. And that's because I'm gonna do a little bit of tracing onto the paper. You could do a charcoal freehand, but for time's sake and to be as accurate as possible, I decided to do a little bit of tracing. So after I do that, I'm just taping down the printed photo to the charcoal paper, just so that when I start tracing, the picture doesn't move out of place and nothing slides or gets messy. Um, and I'm just taking, you can take any kind of pencil or pen, and I'm just outlining the basic shapes of the photo. And then another helpful tip when doing this is to also outline the different highlights and dark points so that when you're doing it, you kind of have reference of where the light and the darkness is. So just going around every line and curve and part that I can find just to give myself a little bit of guidance. And you can't really see it in the camera, but I could see a few lines of reference from tracing. So then the fun part, all you do is just take a normal eraser and just start erasing the light parts. I was using a couple different erasers just for the purpose of size. With this situation, it was a little bit harder because I did just a normal piece of copy paper. So everything was kind of scaled down. Usually I would blow it up a lot bigger so that you don't have to use such a small eraser in a small space. But pretty much that's what I'm going to be doing for the whole photo is just erasing and paying attention to the value of the lights and the darks. And if I start erasing and then kind of mess up and want to add black back, I have this little 
dark charcoal pencil that I can go back in with and kind of erase, if you will. Just kind of ironic, cause like I'm erasing, like isn't that funny? But it's really important with charcoal to just take your time and sometimes you can get tired of it and sometimes you just kind of need to like sit back and just take a break and come back to it um, because it can be a really long difficult process. For me, the difficulty with this was the mouth for some reason. As many times as I drew the lips and the teeth, which I'll get to later, it just did not look right. So I think I did it about three or four different times, which was so annoying. I just wanted to be done with the teeth, but I kept doing it until I could do the best that I could. And at some points, in order to see where I had traced, I had to kind of pick it up and show more in the light because the graphite that shows up from the tracing is very faint. So it really, it's not like you're really tracing it because you only get a few little guidelines. Um, and then I just erased the kind of perimeter of him because I'm not planning on doing a background and I wanted his general shape of his shirt and his arms to show. So the mouth was by far the hardest part. I saved it for last because I knew it would be really difficult um, because his teeth shape is so defined and I knew that it would be really hard to get such concentrated color in such a small space and get them to be the right shape so that it would look like him. And like I said earlier, I redid them many times and they did not end up looking very good, but I just kind of had to do the best that I could and they ended up how they ended up. All right, you guys, so after a long bit of work, I'm finally done with my William Singe charcoal reduction. I will admit this is definitely not the best of my work that I have ever done, but I genuinely tried, and given the amount of time, I think that it's okay. I had a lot of difficulty with the teeth, just getting the right color and, you know, the right shape. I definitely think that it would be a lot easier to use charcoal than soft pastels. Um, so I guess you would call this a soft pastel reduction. They're really, I mean, if you look at it from afar, you know, I'll just keep it back here for you. I really don't think it's that bad. But also, I wanted to point out that I didn't do the detailing on the bandana just because I knew that I would mess that up and <laughs> I didn't think that it was all that important of a detail. But anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get all artistic. Hopefully I can do another video like this where I can actually do something a lot better than how that turned out. I know I can do better than that. And if I did it again, I think I'd do it a lot better. Um, so happy birthday, William Singe, love you. <laughs> if you want to be featured on my memory board back here, Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment with your social media, and I'll put it on my board for next week's video. So, I hope Sarah Styles made you smile. I love you guys so much. Bye! If the sun don't shine today, and the rain do pick up in the morning, will you?